Nintendo patented a magnetic controller attachment for a portable device, which essentially locks onto some kind of screen. It uses infrared cameras, a pretty cheap solution, to signal to the main device when the controller attachment is pressing a button. It matches quite conveniently with a lot of other patents they've filed and a lot of the stuff we've been hearing about NX, so it's quite possible that the controller idea we discussed recently is what this patent will actually become. Uh, and one of the things that really stuck out to me about this is that Nintendo is so dead set on making like wonky controllers and crazy peripherals for their games and everything, and this potentially looks like a great way to more flexibly accommodate all of those different mechanisms into one device. Um, you know, it's, it's still kind of wacky and Nintendo-like, and it can be dangerous if they run headfirst into an idea like that without remembering that a graceful controller solution is only the first step to a graceful consumer experience. Uh, but nonetheless, it would be a very graceful controller solution, so if it comes to fruition, then kudos on a good first step. Yeah, for me, this this is a very convenient sort of thing to be revealed right after we heard from that Eurogamer rumor that the NX is going to be a portable device with detachable controls. Um, and what I really like about this idea is it kind of it smooths over some of my fears about that idea, because if the controllers are detachable, and if they work well detached, they need to be powered somehow, and that's probably requires a battery. And if they're uh, powered by a battery, they need some way to charge. But you wouldn't want to have to, you know, charge them through the handheld because that saps battery power from the handheld. And you wouldn't want to have to worry about them running out of battery while they're being played on the handheld because that would just suck. Um, but this this uh, approach means that they don't even need to use any power at all to read the controls. There's a little IR sensor on each side of the handheld. It sort of sees into the controller pieces to see what buttons are being pressed. Uh, no power is used at all. So it, it's a nice sort of battery-friendly, portable-friendly solution to that detachable controller idea. Yeah, definitely. And uh, in addition to this potentially being for NX, this is also an idea that they could spread to their mobile games as well. They've, they've talked in the past about how they'd be potentially interested in the idea of making a controller for mobile games, but you know they, they could just do these magnetic detachable controllers or even possibly make the detachable components of the NX compatible with phones. Sort of gives them a lot of options. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the phones are going to have to have some sort of IR camera that works with those controller solutions. But uh, mm-hmm. Well, not necessarily, because um, if they also are powered by batteries, then they could just run off battery while you're using them with your phone. Um, uh, I guess if they have Bluetooth technology in them, then that would jack up the price a lot. Maybe. I, I think Bluetooth is standard enough in controllers these days that... Uh, They've gotten the price down on the parts, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I imagine something s- relatively small, but, you know, we'll see. It's it's all it's all totally unknown at this point. Yeah. And Nintendo always surprises us with controls, too, so who knows? Hello, everybody. Thank you for listening to this Nintendo Week Clip NWC. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more highlights and discussion videos from Nintendo Week Podcast, or subscribe to us on iTunes for weekly breakdowns of all your Nintendo news, discussion segments on subjects, games, and more, and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.